Hey everyone, Meleon here, local rhythm game enthusiast here. <laughs> With all the stuff going on in the rhythm game world, I wanted to finally do a weekly update series where we talk about everything going on in the rhythm game community. And there's been a lot of news today, so I want, want to get straight off the bat with it. I may miss a few stuff such as minor song conditions or tweaks, so if I miss any, I'll be sure to say something in the description of, of this video. First off, the Ohio State University Rhythm Game Pool. Also won over B Saver after resetting grand finals and getting an astonishing amount of participants with over 50,000 votes. The entire rhythm game community casted their votes and also reigned all over all the 64 rhythm games in this poll. Zone Voltex is the highest placing arcade arcade game winning third, and Arcade being the highest placing mobile game at fifth. This poll really brought the rhythm game community together. Whether you want to think about it, think about it in a good or bad way, it really showed how how we are really like-minded in our in our interest. Secondly, in the arcade game department, Groove Coaster 4 Max is no longer receiving updates, and the future of Groove Coaster Arcade is currently unknown. This is allegedly due to a lack of hard, hard drive space, which is understandable given that they haven't really updated or swapped the cabinets in years, and it is currently unknown what the plans for future for Groove Coaster is. It is presumed that updates to Groove Coaster YY Party will continue, as that is the version that Groove Coaster is still receiving updates and continues to be worked on to this day. For any of y'all that happen to live in Japan as well, before my qualifica qualification courses are up for all three games, and although I don't play these games myself, I wish any anyone who has act who has the thought of attending these courses a good luck, and hopefully, you qualify um, and pass all those courses. For Chinism, if you clear the qualifying expert course successfully, players will be able to re uh, acquire VLS Scream from Ongeki early. And the topic of Performa as well, Ongeki acquired two songs for Chinism as well, which are now available to play, if you even have access to it. Jubeat Avenue has recently received a lineup of Hololive songs as well as well to its lineup, including some notable ones such as Say Fanfare, which is found in the My Rider Rhythm Games. Gaming Wings as well was also added to its lineup, which is a Konami original for its Fight Club tournament or something. I'm not really too sure about the context, admittedly. So if you also happen to live near a Jubeat cabinet, those songs have released two have released two days ago as of editing this video. Dance Dance Revolution has gotten a new challenge song by Akata Complex called The World Ends Now. This is a this is a new level 18 chart which has given players so far quite a challenge for players. Dance Dance Revolution has also announced a new song for Grand Prix. It's PC version of Dance Dance Revolution. Yeah, I'm surprised too that there's a PC version of the Dance Dance Revolution, but that's just me living living under a rock. But anyways, the story swim will be out on November 1st, or next week as of editing. So hopefully for both arcade and PC fans, hopefully you don't get yourself too much in a twist in both these editions. Next up in mobile games, Pitta Game um, Reboot has announced a release date of for November 2022 with demonstrations of gameplay and a review of two of the side packs, each with four songs, with, with both of them being original surprisingly such as notable artists from Noah and Edia. This game has been long in the making since 2020 when I personally played the prototype back then. The game is very akin to a mix of Dynamax and Protocol Hyperspace, the latter being a default mobile game which, which hasn't been updated in years. D the development of this game is certainly exciting and I personally cannot wait for the release of the game. Next up is Mustache. Mustache is releasing its Give Up Treatment Volume 11, which includes a, a lot of variety of songs such as uh, Psych Fevio, Inferno City, Pentagram Shift, Snapdragon, Prestige of Vestige, Tiny Feet, and Snooze. As of the making of this video, the update is likely already out or is in a in minute of release. So go check out the banger of the songs and, and don't give up. A couple of days old as well, but Project Seikai Japan has, has teased a new original coming to its lineup by Ryu Lee under the 25 Jean Nightcore cover. Originals of Seikai personally in my opinion never miss, and this is certainly a song to look out for. In similar fashion to idol style games, Bang Dream J uh, Japan released two songs as a part of the collaboration with that time I got reincarnated as a slime. The two covers being Nameless, Story, and Storyteller, both opening songs for said series. If you're a fan of that series and Bang Dream, it's definitely a must check out for, for fans of both franchises. Fikras also just announced a new collaboration with Abyss Idols, a virtual idol group. Abyss Idols is the up and coming virtual idol group which has been founded since 2020 according to their Twitter. They're a really interesting startup and it's great to see how Pitches Game supports the startup community by giving a startup idol group a space in their game to where more people will learn about th this talented group. 
Kalpa as well released a new teaser for their upcoming Ares pack, which cited that quote, the Zodiac has finally been assembled, has been completed, indicating that all, their, all the Zodiac characters in the game have been assembled. This is definitely something to keep an eye on, as Kalpa has proven itself to be a unique uh, five, 5 key mobile game which continues to bring strong content to its lineup. Demo 2 is getting a minor content update which includes stuff for Halloween which has already been released, and already there's been bugs of players not being able to get into the game. Great. But if you're a fan of Demo 2, go check go check it out and collect the limited time Halloween skins they have up in game. An honorable mention as well, Noise Starlight is getting a producer stream by K KX Eternal talking about stuff in this franchise such as Noise Starlight 2.0. The team has been hard hard at work on their franchise and they're expecting a chapter 5 release of Noise Starlight on November 14th. So if you're interested in their producer stream, the stream is on October 29th at 10pm EST and the link will be provided below. If you're watching after October 29th, there will be a section of news dedicated to the news that was bought upon the producer stream next week. In an interesting turn of events, Tohu Danmaku Kagura is coming to Steam in 2023. For those that don't know, Tohu Danmaku Kagura, the game is published by DNA, the same developers of Pokemon Masters, and only made it to Japanese app store, app store markets. A few days ago, DNA announced end of service, which ended today, unfortunately. However, to, just today as well, they announced the Steam version of the uh, to Tohu Damaku Kagura. So this is great news to anyone who is a fan of this game, and hopefully the Steam version helps pre preserve the legacy this game had to its respective fan base. And that is all for the news of this week. If I have missed anything, please let me know in the comments, and I will do my best to provide the news of it in the description of this video. Please give me feedback for for this video as well, as this is the first uh, video by kind. As I usually d just do replays, but now I want to get it to touch it to a bit of competition in a way. So thank you for watching, I hope you support my further content and my passion to the wider rhythm game scene.